Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's BBDT and we're back with another video. Yo, like this vi Wait, why am I screaming at y'all? Let me chill. Wait, why am I doing this? Nobody's next to me. Like I don't always keep that hammer next to me. Like I ain't got a chick to the next, to the left of me. Like we ain't in the streets more than what? If that's your chick, then why she, why she keep calling my phone speaking every time I'm out? Why she, you call her, I call her, oh, yo, let's talk about the hoodie, baby. This is my brand, DT for life. Don't trust for life. Nigga, are you dumb? The fuck? Are you dumb? Da -da dumb, da dumb, da dumb, 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 dumb? Can I get that? Dumb, 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 dumb? But yeah, y'all, welcome to the first... Oh, this is actually not my first mukbang. My first mukbang was the Waffle House mukbang. Tune into that video. Tune into that video. But yeah, this is about to be a lit mukbang. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. So yeah, it's going to be random. Y'all already know your girl got ADHD. So it's random over here. Don't worry, I'm not making fun of nobody with ADHD. I hope nobody um feels away over... I hope nobody feels away over me mentioning the whole ADHD thing. It's something that I take pride in, you know? I'm just that girl. Let's talk about what I got. I got a Chick-fil-A deluxe sandwich with no cheese because I don't know, I guess no cheese is healthier, you feel me? It makes me feel better inside when I don't get cheese. I wasn't matching at all today, I know. I'm wearing fucking blue and red, like what am I for real? I'm nothing, I'm not that, I'm a businesswoman. But yeah, so um, what are we gonna talk about? Dating, let's talk about dating cause you know, dating is something that everybody fucks with, da -da -da, right? Are y'all dating anyone? Comment down below if you're dating someone and how's it going? And then also comment if you're in a relationship. How long have you been in a relationship? I haven't been in a relationship in like two years. Probably longer than that. I don't think I've been in a relationship since college. If I'm not mistaken. It's obvious that person, if I was, then the person obviously wasn't that important because i can't remember i can't remember the last time i've been in an actual relationship situationships though child i was a hoe now i'm playing i wasn't really a hoe and i don't even know what the fuck a hoe is but all i know is niggas that ass called me a hoe in middle school and that's crazy because i wasn't even sucking dick or nothing i wasn't even fucking but the bitches i was actually fucking and shit the reason why i don't do mukbangs is because it's hard for me to talk and eat especially if the food is busting but we gonna do it. We gonna do what we gotta do. Oh shit! All of the, all of the sauce is spilling. Polynesian's the way to go. I used to fuck with Chick Fil A sauce, OD, but now, I'm a Polynesian girl. What sauce y'all be getting? Whoa. Whoa. I'm not gonna believe this. Mm mm. Oh, they gave me spicy. That's why it tastes so good. This is why I can't talk and do. This is why I can't talk and eat, bro. I'm already into the food. But yeah, let's talk about dating and shit. So I'm not dating anybody. I'm literally talking to nobody. I guess it's hard to believe, which I don't understand. Like, I know I'm super duper pretty. Nice body, great personality. I'm funny as fuck. Caring, good heart. I could go on and on but that don't mean i want to fuck with somebody and also i am not at a point in life where i can even afford to be fucking with somebody for real because a relationship requires time that i am not able to give right now i got shit to do i got money to make i got moves to make i'm trying to have different types of motion all year not no turtle motion either fast motion not i don't gotta be fast but you ever just feel like this is your year that's exactly how i feel about this year like if you don't know i'm not monetized on youtube yet and i'm gonna be transparent with y'all because that's a part of my channel i keep it real for when i tell y'all i keep it real i keep it real y'all know about the nights i went home with two dollars Went home in the negatives, like y'all know, y'all know a lot, and I will continue to share the good and the bad on this channel because I want to be an inspiration to people 
And I want people to know that no matter where you come from, bro, no matter how old you are, you can put, if, if you put your mind to anything, you can do it. I feel like social media really puts that pressure on you to have your shit together at a certain age. And that's also the reason why people think 25 is old. People meaning me. I used to be one of those people that thought 25 was old. And I'm still trying to grow out of that mindset, but I'm like 99% there because age truly is nothing but a number. And 25 is dead ass nowhere near old, bro. Like, it's crazy that we even think that. Like, why do we think 25 is old? Y'all know another thing I'm realizing? I feel like a plethora amount of people. Y'all hear the vocab plethora? I'm listening to this, um, whatever. Let me, let me get to the story. So, a plethora amount of people around my age, I'm about to be 23. We feel like, why am I 23 still living with my parents? Why am I 24 still living with my parents? Or like, why don't I, why aren't I making a hundred K yet? Why don't, why don't I have 10 K months out of that? I feel like we need to understand that the resources, these young people, like the teens and stuff now, the 18 year olds making a hundred K and da da da. They have different, we did not have those resources. What I'm trying to say is times are for real changing and I feel like it's definitely I don't want to say easier but teens nowadays they, they definitely have more of an advantage when it comes to like content creating and you know being like real being in real estate and stuff and see y'all like for example when I was 17 TikTok was not even a thing. That's one. So, there, of course, there were you, those YouTube videos that had, like, side hustles. And da-da-da-da, how to make this amount of money, this X amount of money as a teen, da-da-da. We had those videos. We always had those videos. But we see a lot more of those videos now, especially on TikTok. Like, the young entrepreneurs and stuff, the business owners, I, I like, had those things been on my um, news feed more when I was a teen, I definitely feel like I would have been in a different place by now. I don't regret anything because everything happens for a reason. We all have our own path to follow the Ra and our own story. But yeah, we don't have we didn't have all of that back then. Next thing I want to talk to y'all about is my clothing brand. Woohoo! It's been a frustrating process, however. I'm super duper proud of myself because the idea that I had, I had since 2021. And the fact that I'm finally going after everything I said I was going to go after, like YouTube, I'm going after that. Back to the monetization thing. I know I'll be getting off track and shit, but yeah, I'm not monetized on YouTube yet. And it, it's definitely discouraging, 100%. I'm super proud that I even got to a thousand subscribers and now I'm growing even more. Like it literally means everything to me when somebody subscribes to my channel because it's like, yo, y'all don't even understand how much like discouragement you feel with YouTube sometimes, bro. Especially when you see those people that have like 10 videos up and they already have like 300K followers. I'd be like, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Comparing myself to anyone is something that I'm choosing not to do anymore. Because everybody's story is different. And I watched a video on how to stop doing it. And somebody said, you're comparing your chapter 2 to somebody's chapter 10. You don't know what it took for somebody to get there. Like, somebody could literally go on my page and be like, wow, she's at a thousand subscribers. But... They don't understand that, like, I literally be at home like, yo, should I even keep going? Like, seriously, you never know what anybody's going through. So, that's why I just be like, follow your own path. You have your own story. Let it go. But when it's my time, y'all, I ain't letting up. 
but starting back to starting a clothing brand starting a clothing brand is just so oh my gosh bro and i spent so much money bro i spent literally thousands of dollars and i don't even have anything yet for real so it's been a stressful process but i hope it's rewarding i know it no not even i hope it will be rewarding in the end so the one thing about it i'm gonna promote my brand listen to this i've been sharing my youtube video every day on facebook for like the past two three months and when i say every day i mean every day and nobody likes it like literally nobody acknowledge it and when i tell you nobody i mean nobody i'm gonna screen record it for y'all i can't make this up but 30 percent of my viewers come from facebook people's watching they ain't saying shit but they for real watching so i'm gonna do what i gotta do you know and the reality of everything is too they don't support you until it's popular to support you but i don't give a fuck because i'm gonna remember how everybody moved for real oh let's talk about celibacy real quick i might make a separate video on that i do think i will but real quick y'all i ain't fucking i ain't have i ain't get dick since july no since june so July, August, September, October, November, December, January. It's about, it probably has been seven months. It's about to be seven months or it has been already. And it's crazy. Cause I was at seven months and then I broke it off for this fucking Queens nigga, my fucking Uber driver. I'm gonna make a story time on that. <laughs> That's so funny. My life is literally a movie. His head was immaculate, phenomenal. Oh my god his head was so good so i ain't even mad that i fucked him but i shouldn't have fucked him but i'm not mad that i fucked him i'm just i'm just a little just because his head was good like having good head it really gives you a couple points i won't hold you but then the nigga tried to move funny so i had to fucking block him yeah my block list is long oh my pants are dirty my block list is long as fuck and it's gonna stay long because don't try me let a nigga try me. Mukbang almost over. This was a cool, this was a quick cool video. I might do mukbangs more. And also, it made me eat slow because I be eating way too fast, child. But question: If I use my vibrator, wait. Look at the ponytail. The ponytail's ponytailing, y'all. Is it ponytailing? Let me know. My hair is actually growing for real. And yeah, but what do y'all consider celibacy? Because like I'm going seven months without dick right now, but. Without my vibrator, probably a minute. I just used it. Ciao. I'm kidding, but I did use it last night, so. Yeah, honestly, dick just doesn't amaze me anymore. I used to be a dick and addict. I just made that up. A dick and addict. A dick and addict. That sounds a dick dick. I used to be a dick dick. I used to love me some dick, but now I want some fucking money, nigga. Like, give me some money. I could give a fuck about dick because dick don't give a fuck about me. And that, that's the tea. That's the tea, baby. Dick don't give a fuck about me. Dick don't give a fuck about this pussy. You don't give a fuck about anaconda. So I don't even know if I'm celibate for real because if the vibrator shit counts, then I'm definitely not celibate. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? I don't know if I'm wording it right, but hopefully you get what I'm saying because I'll be using my vibrator. I can't go without my vibrator. Like, not orgasming is crazy. Niggas don't make me orgasm, so I might as well. Might as well. But honestly, I don't really see myself having sex until, like, I'm in a relationship or heading towards a relationship. I need that emotional connection, and I need the consistency. And the, I just can't give my pussy to anybody. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, my shit is, like, marinating. But when it's time for me to pop this pussy for a real man, I'm going up. I'm really going up. I'm really gonna fuck. The next time I fuck, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna make sure I fuck. And I'm gonna get fucked in the ass too. Yeah, I need some good anal because... Can I even post this on YouTube? I don't even think I can post that on YouTube. I don't need no shit. I should be able to post that on YouTube because niggas be saying, sis said, hump me, fuck me, daddy better make me choke. So... If you two gonna say something about what I'm saying now, it's a problem. But I don't even think I can handle a dick in my ass next time I have sex. This mukbang was definitely all over the place, but 
I'm glad I filmed it. And hopefully somebody enjoyed it. I know somebody out here enjoyed it. Maybe two people out here enjoyed it. All right, so y'all have reached the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Whoa, hold on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hey, your girl is on the road to 1,200 subscribers. Shit is crazy. Like, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that I can see you both. And then when you see you both, you got the variables. You got the mathematics. I'm running tennis. I'm feeling, I'm feeling static. You got static. I got some static. I got some. All right. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see y'all in the next video.